Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm back at y'all again. Um, I'm still getting calls based on things such as sovereignty. I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna be straightforward. If you don't know that you're sovereign in your own world, then you'll never be sovereign. If you have to file paperwork with a white man for you to become sovereign, then it was never yours in the first place because he's giving you something that came from him. You have to know in your mind that you are sovereign. This is not, this is not about fouling um, paperwork to become sovereign because I don't want to benefit in the illusion. I don't want to become a part of the matrix. I don't want to become sovereign in the matrix. I don't want to become sovereign in the illusion. And a lot of people who, who's fouling this paperwork, they are only doing it to benefit all physical things. If we're supposed to be spiritual people, then why are you trying to become sovereign in the world of an illusion, which is the matrix? Why would you have to beg for something that you already are? Just create your own world, your own mind. This is where this is where it resides. This is your jurisdiction. Your mind is your jurisdiction. You do not uh, you do not live in the United States Corporation unless you think that. Whatever you think, so shall it be. You create your environment just off your brainwave frequency, which is your thoughts. You are a fragment of your thoughts. So therefore, there is no physical paperwork that can that can that can make you sovereign. I'm sorry. I just have to be straightforward. If anybody who can come to you and tell you that you can become sovereign off of paperwork shows how foolish and ignorant they are. Because you are filing paperwork with a face that is not your frequency. You are filing paperwork with a, with a physiological illusion that doesn't have your frequency. Let alone they don't even have a fucking soul. This is the contradictory other thing. How the hell can you say the white man is the fucking devil, but you go file paperwork with him to make you sovereign? It don't make no sense. Sovereign to become free inside of an illusion that is set up by your enemy. We're gonna have to start thinking different now because this is where your defense is. Everything that's going on around us is not, this is not a, a, a physical war. This is a spiritual war going on. And until we see that, we're gonna always be feeding the illusion to the point where we are contradicting ourselves. A lot of people saying, you know what, yes, I used to um I used to do the paperwork. But you grow as you reach your destiny. As you get closer to your destiny, you start to grow. Now I'm looking at spiritual sovereignty. Meaning that I'm not gonna file physical paperwork to become free inside of an illusion that is the oppressor of my reality. It's not going to happen. You can do whatever you want to do, but I'm going to give it to you straight. What is that? How is that paperwork going to benefit you once you leave this life? Because you are not born. You was never born. We haven't all been born yet. This is death where we are, um, where we are, where we reside. When you leave this physical body, you are born then. When you came out of your mother's womb, you are, you came into death. That was dying. They told you everything on the opposite. Your left brain is on the right and the right is on the left. This is not life, this is death. And when you dream, you are actually waking up to your reality. And this is what these crackers know because this is why they are setting up the CERN system so that they can intercept you being able to go into the dream world to, to meet parts and fragments of yourself in the form of information so that you can help to shift out of the illusion into the reality. It's not about paperwork, that's physical. It's physical. You are not physical. You are spiritual. You are a soul. And if you and as long as we keep filing paperwork, we're going to keep the monster alive. The paperwork is food to the monster who doesn't have a soul. So what you're doing is you're giving them fragments of your soul and don't even know it. It's time for us to wake up. I don't give a damn who is watching if you are more. I don't give a damn sovereign citizen who you call yourself. You cannot place a title on your soul. You were a soul before you were a more. How old is the more? The earth is older than the more itself and the earth is still an illusion. Your soul is older than the earth. 
So how the hell you mean to tell me that you are more when your soul cannot hold a title and is older than the fucking more itself? Your soul is older than Christianity. Your soul is older than Islam. Your soul is older than the Hebrew Israelite. You cannot make a soul sovereign. It's already free. You're already free. You just have to free your mind. Because when you, when you free your mind, you free yourself. Remember, you are your thoughts. And your thoughts is you existing inside of your own world, which is your mind. So when you free yourself from this illusion, you can actually reside in the illusion and be free from it. But as long as you keep playing their game, filing paperwork, again, they will shoot your ass down while you're holding your paperwork up. They will shoot your ass down with your fans on. They don't care about that shit. You're not coming into my house and going to use my own laws against me. That's the mathematics of it all. So with that much said, Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm out. Peace. So with the Corrin Gaines situation, what was the more is that when Corrin Gaines got shot down in cold blood by the cops? Huh? Some people say it was set up. But what if it won't set up? What was the more is that? How was the paperwork going to save her? Huh? You show me one piece of paperwork that has ever stopped the police from shooting down my people. And I will take my own life tonight. It will never happen. I'm not here to worry about how the world feel about me. I'm here to carry out destiny. Destiny. Destiny.